what did you make of the performance overall? Oh, we, we found the space that uh, we have to find like behind the defense line, between the defense and the midfield line. So I can say that we did a very good second half. I don't want to speak about the first half because it wasn't very well, but uh, you know, you can get some games like that. But the most important that we scored before to go to the dressing room. And uh, yeah, it helped a lot for the second half. Yeah, how important was that? Did that change the game, that goal right at the end uh, of the first half? Yes, of course it changed because uh, we can start to play more offensively, so we've got more spaces behind the defence line, so we're happy for that. <laughs> You're going to be a stick from Michael Carr. Um And your goal as well, I mean, it's the sort of goal that they love to see here at Old Trafford, the length of the field goal. Yeah, it was a very nice counter-attack. Uh, I think uh, we understand each other very well in that uh, situation, me, Bastian, Wayne and uh, Anthony. So I hope that uh, we can do some goals uh, in the future. I suppose it says a lot about the squad that you can make nine changes and still have a team full of, full of internationals, full of class players. Yeah, but this is Manchester United. Everyone has to be ready to play. It doesn't matter if you, the, the, the manager does uh, nine changes or not. Everyone has to be ready to play because if uh, you're playing well, so you can get uh, your next chance. So everyone uh, was trying to do his best for today. And uh, I think now the manager has a lot of opportunity maybe to change for the next games as well. And it's great to see a couple of young lads come on. Axel Tunzebi, the goalkeeper, Joel Pereira as well. A great experience to play in front of 75,000 people here at Old Trafford. Yes, of course, uh, they have to be excited because they're, it was their first game. And we try to, to help them a lot because, uh, you know, uh, it's always like that. When one young guy is coming to the first team, you have to help, you have to, 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 to give them some advice. So I think that uh, it's going to be a big, big uh, challenge for them. And I think that after this game, they will have more will to play for the next games. Just finally, there are a few Premier League clubs who don't take the FA Cup that seriously. Quite clearly, Manchester United are taking it seriously, as we saw from the performance today. Uh, we're taking all the competitions very seriously. It doesn't matter if we're playing uh, League Cup, FA Cup, uh, Premier League or Europe League. Uh, for Manchester United, every cup is very important. So we're, we are trying to do and we're trying to go as far as we can because uh, trophy is a trophy. It doesn't matter if it's... a uh, League, uh, League Cup or FA Cup, so we're trying to do our best to reach the final. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much. Axel, how did that feel coming on at Old Trafford today? It was crazy, you know, since uh, a little boy really, you've been thinking of this. And to now, you know, it kind of comes true. You know, you're just really over the moon and I'm still shaking now, you know. <laughs> you just can't really like believe it's happened, you know what I mean? But, you know, it's good for me and my family, I'm very proud. Um, but now it's just getting back into the training ground and going again. And, you know, if I'm with the 23s, I'm with the 23s. I stay humble, I work hard to get another opportunity to play again. How did it feel when you were waiting to come on? Because it took ages to come on. The ball wouldn't go out of play, would it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I was on the touchline. I was just, I can hear his Latin. I was just saying, just keep it simple, keep it simple. So, I, you know, I follow his advice and I was just waiting, waiting for my moment and it finally came. And how did it feel finally? You've been talking about it, you've been wanting to do it for years and years and years, but how did it feel when you were actually on the field? Did you feel at home? Yeah, like, after you start playing, you know, you kind of just concentrate on your own game and, you know, you kind of get a feel for the ball, a couple of touches, and once you know it, you're, you're kind of playing and just as a reality, like you're playing Sunday League football, you know, yeah. And did the senior lads who were out there advise you you were out there? Were they talking to you during the, during yeah. the game? Constantly, constantly, you know, I'd, um, Ander came on my side. Um, in midfield and he's constantly talking to me, giving me advice, so it's good, it's good to have that support from first team players, experienced players, you know, kind of driving you on as a youngster, so there's no, no better feeling. I'm sure your old gaffer was pleased about it as well, uh, Warren Joyce, it was quite, quite nice that he's the opposition manager today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's, good, it's good to have um, Warren there, you know, I grew up with him and now to, ha to see him, see, for him to see me play is, you know, it's also an honour as well. So you've had a little taste of it now. Has it made you think, oh, I want to do this again and again? Definitely. Now you just you don't look back. Um, a coach of ours was saying the hard part is staying in. So, you know, I'm going to have to get back into the training ground and keep grinding every day. Finally, have you, have your family here today? Have they, everyone been, been able to enjoy it? Yeah, yeah definitely. There's in the family stand here, um, close to the tunnel. Yeah, it's good. Um, as I was walking out, you know, gave them a little wave, had the cameras out and stuff. So it's good. It's a good moment. Well, well done. Congratulations. Thank you. Cheers, mate. All the best. Well played. Cheers. Cheers. Show. Sure, what was it like to make your debut at Old Trafford? It was amazing. And I think I'm very happy. Me and my family, we are very happy. And uh, 
I want to thank the manager for this. It's not every player who gets the opportunity to, play, to come on at Old Trafford, so thanks to the manager. And it was fantastic. Yeah. So were your family here today? Were they all here to, to watch this? Unfortunately not, but they were at home watching on TV. I already had them on the phone and uh, they congratulate me, so I'm very happy if they're happy also. When did you know that you were going to get a chance? Did you were you always hoping to get to get on, or did you speak about it in, before the game? Or? No, just uh, last when we scored the third goal, Mourinho just said go go get warm, and uh, I just need to get ready, be ready for that can happen any time. So, well, it was good. <laughs> any nerves? I mean, how did it feel when you were waiting to to come on? Well, I really wanted that. That's. When you go on the bench, you always hope to come on, and uh, I had the opportunity, so it was great. Yeah. Did you want more to do? You, I think you had one save to make. Did you want to do? Did you want to impress? Make a few yes. more saves? Yes, of course. I always want to impress, but to come on at Old Trafford, it's already amazing, and uh, I'm very pleased with that. And it's good to see Warren Joyce again, somebody who you know very yeah, well. Of course, it was uh, very good to see him. I had uh, a chat with him also, and. Uh, it's nice to, to see him back at Old Trafford. Finally, you've had a little taste of it now. Does it make you think, I want to do this again, I want to do it again? Yeah, obviously, that's only a little part of, uh, of my career. I, I want to play many more games for, for this club. But now just focus on training and doing well and uh, step by step. Thanks for speaking to us. Cheers. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Great to see you back here, Warren. And for 44 minutes, that must have been going swimmingly for you. Yeah, really pleased. You know, that particularly the first half, I thought, we stuck to the game plan, moved the ball well, created the best chances, good tactically, thwarted all their attempts really, and, and, and was pleased with that. Just disappointed the timing of the goal, and, and even the goal, it's, it's a kind of type of goal that you see in the Championship that you, you want us to deal better with that. Ultimately, do you think that's the, the crucial part of the game? That goal was the, the big moment really in the entire time. Um, I think so, yeah, but, but also the chance that we missed just after half time. You know, really good bit of play, maybe the best move of the match, and bounces out for Perkins. And I, I think there to go 1 1 as well would have been another little, you know, tester. Um, we didn't, and they went down straight the other end and then conceded again from a corner, second ball from second phase from a corner. So again, Disappointed that, <clears throat> you know, if you come here and get carved up by Manchester United, we're world-class players, you hold your hand up and say, well, that's why they're playing for the best club in the world. You know, they can do that. But we've given a good account of ourselves and stopped them doing that. And then conceded by two, just balls stood up at a far post, three headers. You know, so to go 2-0 down then with 60-odd minutes gone, you, you're then chasing the game. So the 20 minutes after that, I think you can almost forget about, really. Um, we're going gunko and trying to chase the game, you know, and I think that's irrelevant really. You look at the first 60 odd minutes, a lot of positives, a lot of clever play, brave enough to get on the ball at Old Trafford, brave enough to pass it through the lines, brave enough tactically <coughs> to deal with man for man situations, you know, and bright enough to shepherd him into areas we want him to play in. So, a lot of pleasing things. Obviously, your concern is your own team, but uh, did you? Raise an eyebrow when you saw Axel come on and Joel Pereira, players that you know very, very well, you've helped develop, and here they are coming on against your team. Yeah, it's obviously a special moment for, for those two boys, you know, and they, they thoroughly deserve it. If, I know how hard the two of them have worked, and I know if when I was working for the football club you had a pride of what you wanted the boys to be like, they're certainly two Manchester United type players because it's the club's ingrained in them, they've got the culture of the football club, they behave like Man United players should behave and you hope they have really successful and long careers at Manchester United. Finally, overall, I mean, obviously you didn't enjoy the result, but have you, have you enjoyed coming back here today? I think you reflect on that after, don't you? The, the minute you still, it's a game that we've lost, you know, so there's a lot of disappointments in conceding the two goals and obviously disappointing in losing a football match. Thanks for speaking to us. All the best. No problem. Cheers, Thank mate. you.